So let's talk about then about process. So um, looking at that content, what, uh, if, if, if you've been to any of our other, other data management discussions if, and you heard me talk about it in this framework, that we recommend having a stewardship structure. That same stewardship structure can and should be applied if you, if you can to quality, right? So that might be that if someone reports, uh, well, first of all, you need a, a method for data quality issue reporting, right? Either for an individual to make a report or an automation, automated method of doing reporting, right? Um, and of, of an issue that's out there. And then you need that data quality issue resolution process, right? And that may and should, if possible, include the appropriate data stewards over that area. And, and that this is where you have some flexibility. Does that go to a business office to look at, or does it go to the technical office associated with the data system that that error was found in, or both, you know, but figuring out what that process is and understanding how that, that um, issue resolution uh, process happens. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, and then uh, data quality rule creation and or change of documenting rules and getting that sort of approved or, or, or changed. That's another thing that it's good to have some stewardship over. And then also the creation of your reference data list uh, um, or changing of that list and getting approval of that. What are the valid values that we're allowed to have within as an organization or within this data system um, or both? Uh, uh, the next is sort of monitoring processes. So if you've got these, you know, issues that have been reported, you know, by individuals, that's fine. But if you've got rules set up, then, you know, automated assessments and automated issue creation is a really cool process to have. You know, again, that can also be a, a um, manual or anecdotal um, uh, creation. And then monitoring notifications for reference data changes, right? So this is uh, someone went and changed a code or you know, and it's not, they didn't do it through the approved reference data list, they just changed the code in the system, is that, you know, is that valid or not? Um, so those are sort of processes that you, that you want. So having some, you know, uh, best practices in place around how to manage that content around quality and put these processes in place around it, that's sort of the maturity level that you want to get to, and you can talk about where to, where to start. Um, oh, impact analysis is the last thing, like if you've made a change to a reference data, understanding, um, what that impacts, right? A lot of times if someone adds a code, you know, I'm gonna add a, a new type of time tracking codes for vacation and uh, I'm not gonna tell anyone about it and I added it to the system, guess what? I just broke 10 reports, right? Um, so if you have something that is monitoring and notifying you and that reference data changes, that's great. But then you might need something else that says, what's the impact of that change? Do we know? Um, 